What's going on guys, welcome to part 5 of our Unity tutorials. This time we're going to be carrying on with our quest system. Um, as you can see on the right here, I've imported this small key model, nothing special, um, which we need for our quest, since this guy wants us to retrieve a key and bring it back to him. But on its own, this key is pretty much useless because it's just the model on its own and we can't actually do anything with it I mean you could drag it into the hierarchy and edit scripts and etc that way but when we do it that way we cannot repeatedly spawn this without having to drag this key in every time onto the hierarchy which is why we have prefabs in Unity and prefabs is basically just a container of a model or whatever with and it can have components and stuff attached onto it and this can be instantiated which means created many times over via scripts you know dynamically rather than having to drag it every time into the hierarchy so to create one of these prefabs you want to go to right click and create and you want to click the prefab button and just call it key right now it's completely empty so you want to drag the small key model which I'll put into the description and here it is we can add components if we like but we don't need to at the moment so we're going to leave that as it is for now next we're going to look at how to get the coordinates to position your key since it's pretty hard just to look around and try to get the positions you know the coordinates for it just like that so what you could do is go to game of game object and create empty and you want to drag this to the, the spot where you want your key to spawn when you talk to this guy. I've already done it just to speed up the, t the tutorial process and that's over here and you just want to place this where you feel you want your key to spawn. I'm just putting it over here so we can just quickly walk over. Now you want to take note of these coordinates which we're going to put into our code so you can spawn the key at this exact point. Okay so now we're going to go back to our quest handle script so we can start coding to spawn this key. Okay, so once you're here, we've got a couple new variables which we need to create. The first being the object we want to spawn. So it's called var object spawn. It's going to be of type transform. And another one is an integer which we're going to call quest number. It's going to be of int and we're going to set it as a default to zero. Now this quest number is going to keep track of, you know, which quest was started when this script was used. So now inside the start function, which will run every time this script has been started up, we're going to create an if statement which asks, is the quest number equal to zero? And if it is, we're going to spawn whatever you set here as object spawn. So you want to type instantiate, and then this takes three parameters. The first being um, the the object you want to spawn. So the objects we do want to spawn is object spawn, and the second is a vector three, which is you know the coordinates of where you want to spawn, which is where our game object we created just before comes in. So we want to type vector three, and now for the x we can uh, click our game object and we can just round this over just to 84 so just type 84 9 and 141 the last one is its rotation um, we don't really need to worry about the rotation right now so just type transform dot rotation just set it to its default close that off and save now back in unity you want to go to your cube which is where you stored your quest handle script and you'll see that object spawn is set to nothing we want to drag our key over here so that object spawn is set to our key which means the key will be spawned which means we can now go to play and we can quickly walk over to our guy hit yes, walk off, and as you can see up here that our key has now been spawned in position which we defined in our game object over here. 
switch you can now delete that since we don't need it anymore. 